This is Furless. I'm in Murdis, but there are two. There's one on Shapeside Road. This one's the new one, the new baby. So let's go on in. Hello. Hello. I'm very well, how are you? Nice to see you. I've come to get some pesky hair to remove. Yes, you're in your rice, please. <laughs> Funny that. Right. That's a big seat. Would you like water? Nope, nothing. That's all good. I'm is ready. It? Um, I'm ready. I tell you, there's a, there's, there's a reason for the mask. Okay. It's to cover up the, <laughs> cover up the whiskers until they get sorted out. Right. Thank you. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Are we allowed to nice shake hands? <laughs> I'm very good. I can't wait to get this now. Can't wait to paint. Some water before nope. we go through. Let's do it. Right. Which room are we in? I love right. the names of these rooms. <laughs> we are in Forget It. Sorry, what is your name again? Heather. Heather. Yes. <laughs> Caroline. Caroline. Ready for some pain. <laughs> now, I've been cultivating. I've been away for a few days. Okay. And if I'm not wearing my glasses, I cannot see the hairs. But boy, I can feel them. You can feel them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> First time doing electrolysis? Oh, no. Before? No, I've been a few oh, times before. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to have to lift them up closer. Oh, you really don't even need that. Yeah. Oh, right. Those, just the darker ones, right? You can uh, see those all those white ones. All those bad boys. <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about electrolysis? Of course. So electrolysis is the only method of permanent hair removal that is approved by the FDA and the American Medical Association. So how it works is we apply... Um, a source of either a, a chemical or heat into the hair follicle, which kills the hair from the root. Now, we do get asked the question, is it just one or two treatments? It is a commitment. So you would have to be coming into the center for approximately 18 months because the hairs do grow at different stages. So you've got the anagen, the catagen, and the telogen phase of hair growth. And ideally you want the hairs to be in the active phase because that's when they are attached to the blood supply. So we insert a probe into the hair follicle, we apply a source of either a chemical or a heat and that kills the hair off at the root. You don't actually have to come back, it's not like a law or a rule, you can come once and more hairs will grow. So it is, it, once the hair, these hairs are removed, they will be gone. But there will be a hair near it that isn't in the growth phase yes. that will come up. Yes, so if the hair is not in the active phase, it could be in the transitional stage where it's kind of partly attached to the blood supply but not, so it'll be starting to shed. Or it could be in the resting phase where it is starting to shed. I'm just going to refresh your face, just look at it. Oh, I'm refreshed. <laughs> ready for the pain. <laughs> oh, ready for the pain. Yes, so obviously laser is very popular and 75% of our clients are laser clients. So laser is permanent hair reduction. It's not permanent hair removal. So where laser will remove you know, a lot of the hair, it only works on certain hair types and certain hair colours and certain skin types as well. Whereas electrolysis works on all skin tones, all skin types and all hair types as well. Right, because the others do not work on grey or white hair. No, so how a laser works is it attaches to the pigment of the hair. Whereas electrolysis, yes, like you said, you can do it on any type of hair, even grey hairs, blonde hairs, red hairs. Is red hair like white or grey hair then? Yeah, similar. Right, ready? I'm ready. <laughs> How was that? Fine. It was fine. Yeah. You can see you are really not giving your skin enough water. I just mean on an aeroplane. <laughs> Yeah. But vacation was not 
frustrated me that much. Can well, the you? traveling was not friendly. <laughs> I'm just going to put the intensity up a little bit, okay? Okay. So it's interesting, actually, Caroline, that you mentioned about different hair removal methods because the average adult spends around approximately 40,000 dirham in a lifetime on different hair removal methods. So that could include things like razors, hair removal creams, waxing, threading. So although, you know, with electrolysis, it is an investment, at the end of it, it's permanently gone. How much did you say? For um, the, the, the average forty thousand yeah. dirham. All right, so I'm just moving the heat with the drop in, applying the heat, and then freezing it off. Do you know button. that you've got it? Sorry. Do you know that you've killed it? Yes. When it slides out of the steam like this, then I've cured it. Yeah. A dead head. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't, then it's not. Which I might have to go in again, which is just once or twice, and that's it. So now it all goes with your hydration as well, which is not so very good. Are you applying sunscreen? Yes. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Are you still okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. You're telling me my skin is dry. It is actually Finding an error of day <laughs> is really, like, yeah, and that we're not back in the routine. And yeah. So what I would always advise is to do a post-treatment, uh, sorry, a pre-treatment first, a pre-facial that is going to hydrate your skin first and prepare it for the treatment. Right. Yes. So we'll do that like 24 hours before, like we'll do the treatment today and then tomorrow we'll do your electrolysis treatment. Right. Yes. And it makes it easier it if your skin easy. is hydrated. Yes. The, the hairs just slide out nicely. And you won't even feel that pain. Make sure you're hydrated. <laughs> Definitely. And drinking lots of water. If you're not in the habit of drinking water, then you have to start. Because with the electrolysis, it just makes it easier. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, with electrolysis, obviously we're using a probe which is cutting off the blood supply to the hair by the root. So because we are removing hairs individually, we actually charge by the time rather than the area that's being treated. So it's 150 dirham for every 15 minutes of treatment. So if you were booking, say, an hour's treatment, it would be 600 dirham. Well, the best thing about that is that you can treat different areas. Yes in that time frame. So you could book an hour and do your big toe and your moustache. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Anywhere you want to be furless, we can treat. Not that I have periods anymore, but does it make a difference in your, in your cycle? to the pain or the hair removal? Yes, it does. I mean, with um, hair growth, it is kind of related to hormones anyway. So during that kind of menstrual cycle, your hormones are kind of imbalanced, they change. Uh, and like with any treatment, you know, it does make a difference when you are either premenstrual or during your menstruation as well. It can increase the discomfort that you feel, shall we say. Yeah, it's not painful, but we're not in a painful area. Will make you cry. Uh, cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then she goes. <laughs> you want to make me cry. The whiskers could also be I remember, don't you remember at school, I think everybody at school had a teacher that had whiskers, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Um, and they would be to do with maybe taking testosterone as part of HRT. Yes. 
but also if you don't take testosterone? It can be other kind of medical conditions and other medications as well. So um, polycystic ovaries is another one. Um, there are some kind of symptoms of that, which one includes hair growth, others as well with thyroid. So, you know, it's not just testosterone, although that is kind of the main culprit as that's the male hormone. Um, but there can be other factors that lead to unwanted hair growth. It's funny, isn't it? Because we all want hair on our head and worried about losing it. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want it on our face. Want it anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the case. You said we have to come for 18 months. Is that every week for 18 months? How does that work? So initially, when you, when you come in for the first time, you would do a consultation with one of our electrolysis and then 15 minutes uh, to see kind of, you know, if it's a treatment that you want to continue with, you know, it's not for everybody. Um, and then after that, you would decide, okay, I'm going to book, you know, so many hours. Uh, and then you would book in kind of as and when you needed or what would be recommended from your electrolysis. So after your initial consultation and assessment, you would book in, you would have, you know, one area completely cleaned. So when we say cleaned, we mean, you know, the whole area will be, you know, free from hair. Everything will be removed in the first session. And then after, is it seven to 10 days, Heather? 15. 15 days. Mm -hmm you would come back in for your next session. And then after that, 15 days again. But the more you come in, the less frequently you would need to come back because obviously the more sessions you have, the more hair is going to be removed permanently. Aftercare. Tell me about aftercare. So with your aftercare, the therapist will recommend some home care products for you. So the products that we use here are Skandor and they use products that will help to calm, reduce any redness on the skin and also help to promote healing as well. Um, there may be some side effects like redness, swelling, um, sometimes some little white heads on the skin, but these are normal side effects and they tend to go away quite quickly. Um, so obviously before you leave, there will be an SOS cream applied to help reduce redness and swelling on the skin. Um, the therapist will provide aftercare advice, like obviously staying out of the sun for at least 24 hours, um, making sure you're wearing your sun protection, drinking plenty of water, keeping the skin as hydrated as possible. Anything else, Heather, that you would add? Um, definitely also exfoliating more to avoid ingrowns, but not straight after the treatment. After 48 hours, you can then exfoliate so that you prevent ingrowns. So Caroline, you were just mentioning about everybody's pain threshold. How's your pain threshold? Uh, the chin area probably is only a one or two out of five. Uh, so get, the numbers creep up. <laughs> go into the middle. I'd say that probably is an eight, verging on a nine for a second, like a nanosecond. Yeah. Um, but the rest is... It's a painless, act furless. <laughs> and I think, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Heather, but most clients say that the top lip is the most painful, is that right? Yes, correct. Or discomfort? Yes, discomfort. <laughs> Whether you're getting it threaded or waxed, it's, it's always, always that. Yeah. You're yeah. waiting for that middle one. Oh, <laughs> always makes your eyes water. <laughs> So with regards to age, um, anybody who is the age of 21 or below needs to have a, um, a parent's kind of authorization. So the parent would need to 
uh, attend with the uh, young adult or minor, um, but anyone over the age of 21, they are free to come and have electrolysis. What is the youngest patient you've had? We do get, we do get teenagers, um, you know, 16, 17. Have you had anyone younger than that, Heather? Yes, 13. 13, wow. But they have to get consent from a parent, don't they? The parent has to be present. The parent has to be present as well. And would that be normally for facial hair? Like, yeah, mostly facial hairs, yeah. We haven't really had any underarms, mainly facial hairs. Yeah. It doesn't matter how old you are, you just don't want hair on your <laughs> you face if you're a girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no facial hairs, no one wants them at all. If you're doing, I, mean, I can't even imagine a whole arm or a whole leg, <laughs> what, that must be quite daunting. And do. do you kind of, do you get bored? Do you sing to yourself? Do you, <laughs> we, we, Time actually goes by so fast. Does it? Yes. When we have times with like full leg, yeah, definitely. Time goes by so fast. Oh, see that little probe into every <laughs> hair. Yes. Wow. <laughs> it's so satisfying though. Is it's it? It's therapeutic to see those hairs coming, coming out. out. And then you have you a little, 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 little bald patch. Yes. And it grows. <laughs> yes. But after the treatment, you're definitely going to see a lot of redness, but it does go, go away, yeah. Right. Definitely, if you also follow the home care, definitely you won't have any of those, yeah. Just definitely got that. <laughs> we used to do doubles prior to, obviously, COVID, where um, we could have two therapists oh, working on each leg at the same leg. time. But now, obviously, due to the COVID regulations, we, we cannot so do that So if you anymore. split open your legs, if you did the splits and they'd be two metres apart. <laughs> <laughs> so you could open that up at first, couldn't you? If you can do the splits, you can have two therapists. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look almost gone. <laughs> almost as good as so um, maybe. Yeah, we'll just there's one there. there. Right there. I'm just wondering as um <laughs> as people are watching this if they're feeling around their chins. <laughs> Definitely you will. I don't think of this as a beauty salon establishment i think of this as more of a medical not just because of the prp even yeah. before that you feel more like nurses mm -hmm. is, is that a feeling that you that you do on purpose uh, uh... yes i mean we want our customers to come in and feel safe we want them to feel reassured um obviously we're using probes so, you know, it is a probe that is entering into the hair follicle. So we kind of we pride ourselves on being up to date on all the COVID measures, health and safety, hygiene, just to reassure, reassure our clients as well. But it, but it isn't, it, it, I'm not saying it's not comfortable, mm -hmm. but it just isn't uh, plush. Uh, and, and it just feels aesthetically, I, mean, I love all the, the stuff on the walls, but it just feels more medical. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you were a nurse. But you're not. No. <laughs> you're a beautician. A beautician. A beauty therapist. Yeah. Beauty therapist. Beauty therapist, yeah. And not all beauty therapists can do this. No. Not all of them. <laughs> no, <laughs> not all beauty therapists can do this. This is an advanced, yes, treatment. an advanced treatment. So when you're studying, obviously as a beauty therapist, you have to have all the anatomy of the skin, the hair. Um, and then once you've achieved your beauty therapy qualification, you can go on to do more advanced training in things like facial electrics, electrolysis. Yeah, facial electrics. Yes, yeah. laser 
but you do have to have that prerequisite of a, uh, a beauty therapy qualification because you need that anatomy and physiology in the skin. The, you say you do facials. Can you just come in for a facial? Or is it always attached to the whole... Electrolysis, no. You, you can just come in for a facial if, if you want a facial. We, we do have um, a pre-facial, which is more focusing on hydration for the skin. As Heather said previously, the more hydrated your skin is, the easier it is for the hairs to uh, come out and be removed during your electrolysis. And then we do a post-facial, which is all about recovery, healing the skin, uh, reducing any redness on the skin, and again, hydration as well. Oh, and we don't treat peach fuzz here. We don't treat peach fuzz. Peach fuzz. Oh, the, the, the very fine ones? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Why would you? Oh, definitely not. Well, the follicle is obviously very tiny, it definitely bends the skin as well. Really? But there are some people that are really irritated with that hair. And that you could be more irritated from removing that from it now. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> I shave that. <laughs> Must be much more difficult to feel it with the gloves. Well, it's actually very easy. Is it? Yeah, we've gotten used to it now. Like, very much. Can you see a time when you're not going to have to wear them? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. It's just not the same though. Touching. Yeah. yeah having a mass I have had a massage with somebody wearing gloves. Cheers. Mm. It's just <laughs> wrong. <laughs> it's very difficult. What are the most popular areas, Heather? Sorry? What are the most popular areas? that clients book in for? Face. Face? Yeah, upper lip, cheeks, chin, underarms here and there, but it's mainly face. Now you see, I've got tears yeah. on my <laughs> Heather just said, um, I want to try and get all these tiny little hairs inside, just in the middle there. And the little voice in me was screaming, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't, but you do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just think, Caroline, once they're gone, they're gone permanently. As you age, do you generally get less hairy, though? As a general rule. Yeah. You get less hairy than... Definitely, because they hair start falling on their own. Right. In most cases, yeah. So I could just wait. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I just... I'm silly moment. Oh, how about men? Oh yeah, men do come in with the beard. Yes, we do electrolysis on men as well as women as well. Yeah. What percentage? Few men? Yeah, yeah, I would say probably, what would you say, Heather? 70% women, 30% men? Uh, I would actually say 80% women. 80% women. Men, yeah. men do come though. Men tend to come in for face as well, mm -hmm. so the beard line, mm -hmm. um, you know, where they're getting those kind of sparse hairs on the face, on mm -hmm. the cheek area, which they don't want. They want that really kind of neat, tidy beard line, and then also under the chin and the jawline as well. Yeah. What about backs? Yes, you do get those as well. <laughs> so are white hairs known to be stronger? Very, very strong. Which is why I guess the white hairs go wiry. Yeah. In your mm hair. -hmm. Very. <laughs> oh. God, very can you imagine strong. if the white, white moustache hairs were oh, curly? Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> Luckily they're not. Luckily they're not, of course. So you have done your upper lip before, right? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I've done my, my, I would like to not call it my beard, but um, <laughs> my chin. Yeah. 
my chin and I think that feels furless. Mm -hmm. That's great, eh? <laughs> Does it look furless? Very much, very much. Do you have any metal implants inside your body? Right. So we're going to do an anti-redness treatment. Oh, can I get to relax now? <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> Okay, so we've finished Caroline's electrolysis now. She's feeling very furless. <laughs> so what Heather's going to do now is she's going to do a post-treatment. So she's going to use... So Caroline is just holding onto an electrode now. And then we're going to use something called catophoresis. So catophoresis. Okay. So this is an electrical current using galvanic. So the electrode that you're holding onto here is going to keep that current circulating. And then we're going to use a roller on the face where Heather is just applying some aloe vera gel now to the treated area. So this is really good for helping to soothe and calm the skin. And then we're going to use that roller over the skin with a galvanic current, which is going to push the product into the skin. It's going to promote healing. It has an antibacterial effect on the skin. So we would do this after every treatment um, with Wherever every client. It is on the body. Just depending on whether they have any contraindications. So mm -hmm. no metal pins or plates within the body. Um, so we'd have to just rule that out first. Yes. Ready? Yep. It feels really nice and cooling as well. I can vouch for that. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so cold? How does it get to be so cold? It's lovely. Because of the air low now. Air low is very cooling as well. And the roller is cold. <laughs> the cold is cold. So this is all relaxing watching this. <laughs> mm. It is very, very relaxing watching. Mm. No pain, no gain. Mm. It's a nice relief after your electrolysis. Yeah. The things we do. All my clients are always waiting for this part. Hmm. <laughs> Your catophoresis is going to speed up healing, reduce any redness in the skin. That's a nice relief. Wearing masks, does that make any difference to uh, people having electrolysis? Is that going to breed, you know, if your skin can't breathe? Ideally, I mean, we would ask them to uh, put a clean mask back on because right. they have to wear a mask. Right. There's no, no getting away from that. Um, so we just got to think about basic, you know, health and safety, hygiene. You know, you want, you don't want to be putting a dirty mask back on. Right. You know, after having this treatment. So do you um, give a clean mask? Yes. yes. And I didn't bring that clean mask. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, most clients tend to be going home after the treatment so right. once they're back home they can take their mask off so you don't really want to be going out to lunch after this um not mm. really don't worry i'm not <laughs> <laughs> what did you just put on me now so the cream the anti-redness cream which is that which is what that's one so that's the anti-redness cream 
that will help reduce the redness. So SOS. Oh, Gendo. Mm-hmm. Gendo, yes. Where does that come from? It's actually a Spanish brand. Is it? Their head offices mm-hmm. are in Barcelona. Aquatherm. Yeah. And oh, nice spray the water. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Just your eyes. <laughs> Nice and refreshing, eh? <laughs> Thank you so You're much, Heather. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Furless, <laughs> for furnacing me. 48 hours, no gym, no going to the beach, no direct sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And please do follow the home care routine. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video about hair removal. Please subscribe and join me on further journeys.